Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Violent Joyster, what's up, Debbie? What's going on, Rob? What's up, Jason? What's up, Bobby? He's watching a hunting video, and there I go live. I know, right? All right, let's get these messages out of the way. Good morning. How are is everyone? All right, all that's done. I am still pulling stuff up, so feel free to smash that share button and uh, get all that started. If you don't mind, share it out. Share it, share it, share. Sharon is Karen. Sharon is Karen. All right. We are almost up to par here. Good morning, good morning. Raw I'm a duck. Here I am. All right, so. There it is. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm tired. I just woke up a little bit ago. Uh, apparently I slept through my 7 a.m. So, you know, if I sleep through the 7 a.m. I'll try to be on around 10 a.m. Arm duck. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Josette. Morning, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? So, um, I did a little live feed last night of my car, and I could not see the um, I could not see the comments for crap. So I missed a bunch of comments. I went back and looked at it a little bit, and people said that they were, you know, they really dug the uh, live feed I did a couple days ago. I had a red face on, the red horns and whatnot, uh, and that made me feel really good. It makes me, you know, feel like I'm on the right path here. Good morning, Stony. So. Uh, I'm going to continue that path, as always. Morning, Heather. Heather, I'm glad you're in here because you inspired me yesterday. For today. You, in you inspired me yesterday for today. Yeah, I think that's correct. So, sit back. You're going to enjoy yourself for the next hour. We're going to talk about a few things. So make sure you got something to drink. Make sure you've got your whatever you want in front of you. In front of you. And let's get to this. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Liz. No mask. No mask today. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning. So share it out. Share it out. Share it out. Sharon is Karen. Sharon is Karen. Good morning. Good morning, Al. We're going to get started here in just a couple more seconds. Give you all a little bit of time to get settled in your chair, your favorite chair. Get your coffee, get your tea, get whatever you're drinking. Get settled in. Get your little favorite blankie. Whatever you need. You like the red face of the horns? Yeah, I did too. Um, you watched my TikToks yesterday? Never do. Thank you. I hope you liked them. I hope you enjoyed them. So Heather, Heather inspired me yesterday for today, if that makes sense. If I say if I'm saying that correctly, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all haven't watched my live feeds before, if you're new here, then welcome to the chaos in the room. I hope you enjoy what you're fixing to hear. And if you'd like what you hear, you can always go back and listen to my other broadcasts as well. <laughs> Enjoying a couple beers for work. Hell yeah. All right. So I do the positivity thing. I, I, I try to remain positive and, and try to, you know, teach people how to be positive in this world. And this music is not one way to do it. All right. So. I try to keep everybody positive, try to give everybody a good start off to their day and everything. Well, yesterday after I got off, I was browsing through all my stuff and going through my numbers and going through all my stuff. And I was like, what? You know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got some new followers. Nice. Um. Anyway, so I was going through all this stuff and a, a, a thing popped up from Heather on my on my account, um, on my timeline. And I read it and I was like, oh my gosh what i like it so what popped up says if you feel like you're losing everything 
Remember that trees lose their leaves every year and they still stand tall and wait for better days to come. And it got me thinking, you know, you ever read something that just got you thinking? Well, I want to thank Heather for that. Heather posted that. Heather Hellman. Uh, Hellman posted that yesterday. Hellman. Um, and good morning. Good morning, April. And I read it and I was like, whoa, whoa, hey, how amazing is it that it's, it's, it's fall. It's this time of year. And it stuck in my brain. I was sitting on my porch last night and the trees are starting to lose their leaves. You know what I mean? Down here in the south. And I was like, wow, dude, that is like so profound, smart that I had to say something about it this morning. We all go through things in life and it seems like we've lost everything. It seems like we're losing everything, like our minds, the whole nine yards and everything. And oh my goodness, you know, everything has its season. It's just so amazing. You know, the tree loses its leaves, but they grow back, they grow back. And the tree is, the tree is stronger. When the, when the leaves start coming back in the spring, it's weathered the winter and it's, it's larger, it's grown it's grown and the leaves start coming back and it's healthy and it's beautiful. So yeah, dude, that's, that's like crazy cool. Heather, thank you so much. And you just went on a little kick yesterday. Um, with your, with your quotes. And I was, I, I started, cause it got me thinking, I started looking, I was like, Whoa, you got some, you got some pretty good stuff on there. Lady, you got some pretty good stuff. The next one she posted that I was like, what is, Saying the phrase, that ain't got shit to do with me, has really been proven to reduce anxiety. And that is true. Absolutely true. Don't you start worrying about your lane, other lanes become irrelevant unless they start coming into yours. So yeah, absolutely, that's amazing. So props up to Heather Hillman or Heilman today uh, for posting that stuff and being the um, top positive person for yesterday. She, she she made my she made my top per, po, top positive person of the day list for yesterday, but like I said, I couldn't say it. I saw it by the time I saw it yesterday. I couldn't say it yesterday. I had to do it today. Blah 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 blah. Words are hard. Blah blah blah. So yeah, what do you guys think about that? Throw up some hearts if you like it. Throw up some oh my god faces if you don't. All right, so what I miss? Oh, Robin, I'm so sorry to hear that. But we're here for we're here for you. If you ever need anything, just let us know. Not my circus, not my clowns. That's right, not my clown tent. Yeah, you really made a difference in the way I was thinking yesterday, Heather. Like absolutely, because I was in a I was in a weird place yesterday. And that helped me out and it was very profound and I enjoyed it. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so she, uh, she's made my list, my good list. She's, made, she, she's not on the naughty list, she's on the good list. Barbie, you're on the naughty list. You're always on the naughty list. Uh, so we, we talked a lot of stuff yesterday about, you know, uh, well, we talked a lot of stuff about a lot of things and I try to keep it fresh. I mean, same, same message, but I want to try to keep it fresh. And, uh, one of the things that I saw yesterday as well, or, or today, I should say this morning, I saw today that it, it was like, what is, uh, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. And what that means is there's no easy way to grow, you know, to jump up and, and, and do things. You have to work on them. You're going to have to put the work in to make sure it happens. So when I say that you have to be more positive in this world and be the best person you're going to be, it's not like, and it is a decision, but it's not like you're going to make the decision and boom, it's done. Now you have to put in the work. You have to put in the effort. You have to become the person that you want to be. Now, one thing that I say is... Um, one of the things that I like to say is, or I got a message right in the middle of my line. <laughs> um, what's a research signature in my, research in my signature. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway. Um, so one of the things I like to say is I want to be the man that my dog believes I am. That makes sense. Uh, my dog looks at me with the utmost respect, love, and loyalty, and I want to be that man that a dog thinks I am. You know what I'm saying? Like 
So yeah, all right, I'm back. So you get all kind of messages. I'm finally laying down watching movies. Why does this not surprise me? Much love and respect. Share my amazing fan. Cool beans. Uh, Courtney, I will check your page too. Absolutely, your human page. All right, sure will. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so my head got spun around with the messages. Uh, every day, or there's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Okay, so yeah, so you have to put the work in. It's not like you're gonna just magically be like, you know what? I think I'm gonna be a better person, and you're a better person. No, you have to decide you want to be a better person, then you have to take the steps to become that. And the steps to become that are uh, very, very simple. God gave you, well, I'm not even going to say the word God, because I, so I, I don't talk about religion in this, but the universe gave you two ears and one mouth. That's so you can do twice the listening and half the talking. If you listen to everything around you and pay attention to the people around you, then your responses are going to become better and you're going to be more in tune. That is one way. Uh, start doing things that... that that are for uh, uh that, that have positive outcomes um you know if someone needs something check on them or help them if you can as long as it's not going to put you out then what's it going to hurt you know help somebody if you can doesn't have to be financially it could be just calling and saying hey how you doing you know there's 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 much way there's much ways <laughs> words are hard today i just woke up there's a ton of ways that you can be a better person it's up to you to put that into effect and work on it follow what i'm saying all right uh, this morning, this morning I'm breathing and that's a huge accomplishment. Okay. I'm tired. And I, when I get done with this, I am going to go back to, back to bed. I'm going to go back and take a nap because I'm exhausted today. All right. So with all of the positive things we talked about yesterday, today we talked about, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs, meaning you have to work on it. We, we said that moist, duh, <laughs> my favorite words. Um, I'll see a couple of y'all post it. <laughs> Rar, I'm a duck. Uh, every day may not be a good day, but there is good in every day. Does that make sense to you guys too? It may not be the best day of your life, but it has some good points in it. Start, Stop focusing on all the negative stuff. You know, you go to work <coughs> and you have a pretty good day. And then you have that one customer or whatever. One person comes in and just, ah, he ruined my day. Why? Why did you let one encounter out of a full day ruin your day when you had so many other encounters that day that could make your day you follow what i'm saying so being upset and being being you know irritable with the way things are going and stuff like that it, it strongly has to do with how you perceive things and how you hold things in um i've said it a few feeds back it's it's crazy to me that you can go to someone and you can say hey you're an ugly piece of crap and i hate you and they're like oh my god and it ruins their day oh my god i can't believe you said that it really hurt my feelings and da, 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 da. but then you go to the same person and go you know what i think you're very beautiful and i respect you and they're like whatever you know they will believe the negative and take it to the heart but if you say that you're most beautiful they're like whatever you know what i mean and that's all got to do with perspective and how we go. What's up, Christina? How you doing? How you doing? I need to come get cut up. I need to come get fixed up, girl. Lady. For real. I love you too, Alan. Yeah, don't give anyone that much power. It's it's uh, it's strictly up to you um, on how you view things and how you put it into your head, man. Like, like it's nuts. So the new TikTok videos, what did you guys think? I asked y'all last night and I, and I couldn't read the comments and I went, I went back and I read some of them, but, but like, what do y'all think of the new TikTok videos that came out? Um, I've been really working on transitions. So, uh, and I got some new ones that I want to do now. Cause I've been watching some videos on how to do other transitions too. And, uh, I think they came out all right. Um, they're not getting that many views. They've only got about two, 300 views a piece for the three videos I did with the transitions when my other ones are getting like, you know, 14,000, so on and so forth. So they're not getting the traction that I thought they might, but, uh, go check them out and tell me what you think. You hit the nail on the head this morning. How did you know I needed to hear this? Christina, it's my, it's my uncanny, it's my uncanny way. It's my uncanny way. Uh, yeah, uh, but I'm gonna. But since you just came in, I'm gonna fill you in on what we said earlier. Um, this day I was over everything. My cousin passed and sick for two days. Creeps last night wanted to find. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Creeps is an awesome dude. So I'm glad you won that. That's awesome. And oh my gritty, it is cold outside. So, uh, 
Christina, what, what uh, Heather made my awesome list yesterday because she posted this, and it's my she was my most positive person from yesterday. Hello, M Michelle Martinez. Thank you for messaging me. Well, I'm live. Okay, so I'll look at your message later. Uh, if you feel like you're losing everything, remember that the trees lose their leaves every year, and they still stand tall and wait for better days to come. And and, and it just it was like, wow! I needed to hear that yesterday. I needed to put that in retro into my brain and swirl it around and think about it and sit out on my porch and look at the trees and realize that even though they lose their leaves and they lose everything all year long, every, I mean, every year, all fall long, every year that they come back stronger, bigger, and better every spring. So that, that, uh, that really impacted me yesterday and, and did me really, really good. So yeah. Awesome. All right. So. I think that's all we got for the for the base. That took us 20 minutes in. We got about 10 minutes to go before our little transition break. Um, so you guys talk. You guys tell me. Uh, what y'all think about the videos last night? Uh, oh my God, it scared. Loved it. Scared my nephew. Ah, I like that. That's funny. That's Avidon's the man. I like. I try to be. I try to be. So there's the positive mo message message for the first half. Words are so hard today. I'm so tired. I need a nap. Avedon needs a nap. If y'all keep wondering why I'm looking up, it's because people are like walking up and down the road and driving like stupid down my road today, and I've got security cameras and I'm looking at them. Good morning, Scott. Uh, so if you didn't, this music is not doing it. So if, if you didn't know, you can you can share those TikTok videos too. You'll have all the rights in the world to share them. You just click on the little share button down at the bottom and you can share it on your Instagram, Facebook, so on and so forth, Twitter, whatever. Uh, if you like a video, share it out. I appreciate it. Get me some more followers. We like followers. Followers are fun. Keegan has joined the room, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody welcome, Slime Sickles. Listen, Keegan did a shirt, uh, uh, sent me a picture yesterday. I was hardcore working yesterday. I was just tired as I'll get out. I was running from here to there and everywhere. Um, I was on the road. Uh, I swapped my daggum phone in. I had to, went to Verizon to get uh, the, the Apple iPad uh, cellular stuff set up and ended up switching my damn phone for an iPhone too. Blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway... I was out there all day long taking care of everything yesterday. I come home and I've got a message from Keegan where he's wearing my shirt. And it was like, really, dude, that's awesome. I'm so honored. That is so cool to have somebody that's, you know, with the talent of, of, of Slime Sickles wearing my face on his chest. So that was pretty cool, man. I appreciate it. Um, I also got one from Courtney and a few other people too. Um, really awesome. I, I thank y'all all so much for wearing my shirt and buying my shirt from Spencer's Gifts or from uh, Cult Fools. Wherever you bought it, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Keep the pictures, keep the pictures rolling in because I'm gonna be putting them all up on the website here pretty soon. Um, and the reason they're not up yet is because I've been so busy lately. I just haven't had time to update the website. Hi Shay, Shana, Shana. Hi Shana. I think I said that correctly. Welcome to the room. All right. So we talked a little positivity this morning. We said that I'm gonna go over it one more time. Chris Woods up in the house. I'm going to go over it one more time. Heather Hillman is the positive person of the day for yesterday. If you feel like you're losing everything, remember that trees lose their leaves every year and they still stand tall and wait for better days to come. Truth. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Truth. If you want to be a better person, you have to first decide. You have to... Hey, Chris was wearing his too. That's right. I got it. I got one from the man himself wearing my shirt. That was awesome. So if you want to be a better person, you, you've got to make the decision. I decide I'm going to be a better person. You have to mean it. And then you have to take the steps to become that better person. I want to be the person that my dog thinks I am. I want to be, I want to be the man that I need to be in life or the, you know, you need to be the female or the male you want to be in life. In order to do that, you have to take the steps to do that. But I promise you, for every ounce of negativity that you cut out of your life, you will get a gallon of positivity back. All right. Bad things happen to us and they ha they're going to happen to us all, but you're not alone. You're not alone. I don't care what situation you go through. The, the earth itself and humanity itself is so old 
and, and have been around for so long that there is absolutely positively nothing, nothing in the world that you can go through that someone else has not gone through already. There's, we're just out of, we're out of things to do, ladies and gentlemen, because it's the truth. I mean, all the way down to the minute details. Have you ever been talking to someone and you're like, oh my God, this is really strange. This happened to me and it's a one in a billion. There's, there's no other way this could happen to anybody else. And somebody's like, yep, it happened to me. I mean, almost exactly. You know what I mean? So don't ever feel alone. Yeah, Joyster had a great, um, great feed last night. I liked it. Yeah. Hope you know what I don't feel alone on Facebook. Impressed. It's an awesome message I've heard so far. Oh, thank you, Belinda. Um, I try to have a good message every day. Um, there's some some days I do live feeds that aren't as positive as others, but uh, you know, today's one of those days. Today's one of the positive days. I slept through the 7 a.m. feed, so I come in at 10 a.m. and we throw out those those positive quotes and try to talk about it a little bit to help you through your day, start your day off right. Uh, Shana, I want to tell you right now, I'm not happy with the way Spencer's does done their things. I would say go to cultofools.com to get your shirt. Honestly, I mean, you can go to Spencer's, but if you do call them first to make sure that they have the shirt to make sure that they understand what the shirts are and that they are there. And then you still might have to go there and dig through the shelves to find them. So it's a lot easier if you just go to cultofools.com and order the shirt from there. Uh, that'll take you to big Chris of arts and, uh, and you can buy the shirt. It's awesome. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Trey. If y'all do have a shirt or, or and haven't sent me a picture, send me a picture. If you're getting a shirt, like I said, go to Cult of Fools. It's uh, right there. Go to Cult of Fools right there and order the shirt. And then send me a picture with you wearing it. Thanks. Absolutely. Literally one moment to can affect someone to connect with. That's right. I always say, don't wait until I'm dead to tell me you love me. You know, tell me while I'm alive. That's what it, uh, that's what it, that's what it needs. All right, just walking my mask up. What else? Because I've been promised. Uh, I'm gonna have to read that a little bit later. That was a lot. That was a lot, Scott. So I'm gonna read that later. But yes, uh, uh, if you have a character coming out, that's really cool. Yes, go to Cult of Fools. Yes. Uh, I know, cause everyone now and then, I think of a four-minute encounter from 1998. I'm gonna tell you what. I I I have had encounters like that in my life. Um, yeah, Spencer's is drunk. Go to Cult of Fools. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, that's funny. That's true, though, because there are encounters that you have in your life that would otherwise seem meaningless that stick into your brain because they were so profound to you. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you? It does every day. So uh, I missed, I missed, uh, what was the question? Um, but if you're talking about me doing the live feeds, I try to do a live feed every morning. Um, I miss some mornings every once in a while because of my weird sleep schedule, which I don't have because I never sleep. I try to, but I have insomnia so bad and I have night terrors. So insomnia, I can't sleep. And then when I finally do get to sleep, I have night terrors, which wake me up and then I can't go back to sleep. So it's like a horrible cycle. Been that way for years. I sleep on an average between four and six hours a day, but I do it in hour and a half to two hour increments. So I just take a bunch of naps, basically. I get tired and I take a nap for a couple hours. And then I'm back up for hours. So I stay in a perpetual state of exhaustedness. Kind of fun. Lots of, lots of fun. So we've talked about your worth. We've talked about building your worth, owning your worth, knowing your worth, and that you are worthy. We've talked about how you can be all you can be and be your, your the best person you can be. We've talked about multiple ways of doing that. We've talked about how to confront people or how to get away from confrontation if you need to in a positive way. We've talked about how to deal with bullies. We've talked with so many different things on this show or on this uh, broadcast that it's kind of getting to the point where I'm going to be rehashing stuff as we go um, because, you know, there's just only so much positivity in the world. We have to create more, okay? So we're going to continue with the... Um, with the quotes in the morning and discuss them a little bit. We're going to talk about certain things. If y'all have something that happened to your life and you need a little bit of help through it, don't feel, don't feel bad, man. Message me, message me and talk to me about it. You might be able to, you might be the one that's going to be discussed in the next day. You know what I mean? Uh, not directly, but something you've done. Or if you see an inspirational quote or a positive quote, it changes the way you feel or you have an encounter that makes you feel better about your day or anything. Tell me, tell me about it so we can talk about it. 
Jason is up in the house. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Biggs. We love Biggs the Clown. Class act 100% amazing dude. Biggs, you missed the uh, you missed the positivity this morning, so I'm gonna have to give you one of your own. So let me let me let me work my ESPN magic here. I'm gonna scroll down through here and I'm gonna find a quote that is going to be for Biggs, but as well might hit some of your your two. Hold on. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, here you go. Here's your personalized quote, more and more. You ready for this, Biggs? Your personalized quote. Alright. Biggs. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom. So, in that quote, it says basically what I said before. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Don't don't wish life was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. You need you need that um, craziness, that animosity in your life, in order to appreciate the good points. Okay, I like it's it's the whole yin and yang, the whole black and white, the whole good and evil. It's what we talked about the other day. You have to have moments in your life that are bad for you to truly, truly appreciate the good moments in your life. Bad moments in your life are not meant to be dwelled upon and to build your character from. They're meant to be a lesson for you and a guide point for you so you can enjoy the better things even more. And that's just the way it is. Okay, if you had a perfect day every single day, nothing bad ever happened, then how in the hell could you possibly have a good day? Because it would all be the same. It would be monotonous. It would be, it would, it would, it just, there's no way you could enjoy that. You'd be like, hey, how was your day? It was the same as yesterday. Nothing bad happened though. It was just a day. You turn into Eeyore. And that was a horrible Eeyore impression. But still, you get my point. You know what I'm saying? So bad things happen to us for a couple reasons. Number one, so you can enjoy good things better. Okay, you can have a reference point to enjoy positive things better. And two, because someday at some point you're going to meet someone in your life that is going through the exact same thing, but they don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to overcome the obstacle. This might be the obstacle that breaks them. But because you can sit down, look them in the eyes and say, hey, I've been through this. I've been exactly through this. All right. This is how I handled it. This is how I think I should have handled it. Because, you know, we always, after the situation, go back and we're like, oh, man, I wish I had done this. Oh, man, I wish I had done that. Oh, man, I wish I had done this. But in retrospect, we've already been through it. So we've had those moments. So now we can go to the other person and be like, hey, this is what I did, but this is how I should have handled it. You know what I mean? And we can help them through a very harsh time in their life. But we have to have those negative moments in order for the positive moments to be impactful. That makes sense? So Biggs, you got your personal quote this morning. And I hope you enjoy it. So we are rounding up here. It is almost time for another sip of fluid. I hope you all got your coffee together. Bad things make us grow into beautiful things. I, look, I'm, I hate the way I'm going to put this, but it's the truth. What is fertilizer made out of? It's made out of poop. Fertilizer is made out of poop. What do we use fertilizer for? To grow beautiful things, to grow vegetables and food and flowers and everything else in the world. We use poop to grow beautiful things. Life's no different. It's a circle. Death, decay, poop, all that stuff turns into food for life. Just fact. Joyce, do you need more coffee? Absolutely, I do too. Absolutely. Now we can't we can't decide what's gonna happen with us in life. We we have people here, I've had a lot I've had a few people message me lately about loss of life and and I'm gonna go into that in a second too, because there's been some people that have lost lost friends to death. To and it wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. 
Okay, just because I play death online doesn't mean I'm actually out there killing people. But <clears throat> I'm going to address that in a second too. But there's also death in life. Okay, and what I mean that is, is I've got friends of mine that I re that I've blocked. I refuse to talk to. They were they were everything to me at one point in time, and now they are nothing. I do not speak to them. I do not even speak their name. They are nothing to me. They have done me so wrong that they are dead in life to me. And sometimes you have to do that in order to, to, to make yourself better. You have to walk away from the toxic and negative people in your life. If you don't do that, if you're always surrounded by chaos and disorder and, and negativity, then you will have a much harder time becoming a positive person that you want to be. All right. You can't wade in the cesspool, all right? Or you, even, I was just go one step further than that. You can't date. You know, they were talking about that. the dating pool sucks. Well, stop dating from the cesspool, okay? Go to a nice clean pool that's got a little chlorine and a little filtered water, okay? Like, stop dating in the poop. You know what I mean? All right, I got my drink. Put it in my vape, and we're going to go on to the, the loss of life. Uh, nicotine. I love nicotine. I have. I've got to have it. It's. I, I was. I just woke up. I ate some Vienna sausage for breakfast. That's how tired I am today. I didn't feel like cooking. All right. So, loss of life. We've talked about this the other day as well. Um, and I'm going to rehash it a little bit. It is a scientific fact that you cannot destroy energy. All right. It's just a law of of our physics in this world in this world i'm not talking about other dimensions i'm not talking about heaven or hell i'm not talking about other planar existences i'm talking about in our plane of existence in our reality in our dimension in our universe energy cannot be destroyed it can only change forms okay that is a scientific fact next scientific fact all we are inside of our head is a bunch of electrical impulses all right, our 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 we have little electrical charges that pop off in our synapses in our brain and go through our little neurons. And you break it down to the subatomic level, all we are are electrons, neutrons, and protons. It's all about electrical charge or energy. When a person dies or passes away, that energy is gone. It's gone out of this vessel. It's gone out of this body. Okay. Now refer back to rule number one. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only change forms. So did the person die? Yes, your your friend or whoever it was did pass away. And then you're going to be sad about that because you're going to miss them. You can't hang out with them anymore, so on and so forth. And that's sad. But at the same retrospect, um, you know, you haven't lost lost them because energy can't be destroyed. They are still out there in this cosmos. You understand what I'm saying? So looking at death and like I said, the reason we're talking about this is because we've had a few people that have had losses lately and, and my heart goes out to you. It sucks. It really is really, it can be really hard, but take joy in the fact that I can scientifically prove anybody can scientifically prove that the person is not completely gone. They're still here because of rule number one. You follow what I'm saying? Look at things scientifically sometimes can help you get a better understanding of a spiritual value. Okay. And each person has a, um, has a, has a, has a universal spiritual value, right? And that is that you can't be destroyed. You're only going to change forms. Makes sense. Your head hurts, but your heart or your head knows, but your heart still hurts. So that's the way it works. That is actually work. And Josette answered that, that Josette answered that. You have a chemical reactor in your body and electric company in your heart. That's absolutely true. So you have the chemical, the chemicals that are released in your brain, like dopamine makes you happy. All right. And there's another one too. One of the other means make you happy. Well, you have other chemicals that are released in your brains that make you sad and deal with other emotions. The electrical charges releases the chemicals. The chemicals are what makes you feel the way you feel. So yes, when someone dies in your life, you feel very sad. Those are the chemical reactions in your body. But the chemical reactions make you feel the emotions, but does not affect the spirit, which is your electrical system. You follow what I'm saying? Your chemical system and your electrical system are two different things. It doesn't break you. 
all right you don't get so sad that your that your spirit is broken because your spirit is, is energy it's strong it's just that you feel that way because of the chemical reactions in your body so you have to combat that chemical reaction by doing things that will release the other chemicals i.e I. the dopamine in your brain and i'm not talking about doing drugs or drinking or something like that i'm talking about finding things that you enjoy to do that naturally increase the levels of your serotonin your your, your uh your happy chemicals in your brain you follow what i'm saying it's hard because once you get depressed you get sad those the desire to do positive things goes out the window right the de the desire to be positive goes out the window because you're sad and you just don't want to deal with it i'm sad i'm just gonna be sad for a little bit we'll be sad feel it but work through it work through it until you can find those little things that make you happy um robin i i don't i i don't care i mean i i don't i'm not gonna sit here and uh and promote um cbd or pharmaceuticals or non-pharmaceuticals or anything like that I, I i i know some people really really believe in the power of medicine and drugs and medicine men and doctors and and drugs and drinking and all that. i that's everybody has to find their own way all right i i i was on the va put me on i was on 17 pills a day twice a day okay um, for mental things, this pill would cause this pill, that pill would cause this pill to do this, this pill would cause that pill to, to do this, and so on and so forth. Seven, 17 pills a day, twice a day, and I was a freaking zombie. All right. Medication is good is if you're sick and it helps you through something, okay, or it helps you get better antibiotics and so on and so forth like that. But I got off all medications. I got off all medications and I learned how to deal with things with my mind in my brain. I learned how to work through society has told me all my life. Well, don't be sad. You're a man. Be don't you don't you cry. Don't you do this. I had to re reorganize my brain so I could work through my issues without the help of ph pharmaceutical or non pharmaceutical means. All right. People medicate. And then this is just my opinion. People medicate to mask the pain. People medicate because, oh my God, I need to get high because I can't deal. Well, of course you can't because you're not trying to deal. You're you're medicating to to mask it. So I, I, I hate to even see people, uh, you know, well, I can't say that I hate to see people. I, I, I don't mind seeing people, you know, talk about it and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just gonna have a person that I'm, if you have to have medication to get through something, then by all means do it. If you need antidepressants to get through get to get through the depression to get back to a happy place, then by all means do it. 100 percent All means. If you need to smoke weed to do it, all means go ahead and y'all and do it. But I'm not going to. I'm not going, especially not not here. You know what I mean? I, here I'm going to talk about ways to get through your anxiety, to get through your depression, ways to handle certain situations. Um without the form of a another stimuli you follow what i'm saying i hope i said all that correctly i don't care what someone does i don't care go do a line of coke off a stripper's boob for all i care i don't care all right uh but me personally i'm trying to find ways in my life that i can be the best person i can be through my own means except for nicotine and coffee that's my two I, 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 I quit smoking, I went to vaping, and I drink coffee. Debbie, some people need it. Some people need something to soften the blows. And I get that. I get that 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't judging. I ain't judging nobody. I said boob. I did say boob. I love boobs. Boobs are awesome. Um, but some people need that. They need that little bit of something in order to take the edge off of the pain or the anxiety or the depression or whatever the case may be. They need it. And I get it 100%. But don't let something that you need temporarily become something that's permanent in your life. You follow what I'm saying? Don't tempt me with a good time, Abaddon. <laughs> Uh, caffeine, caffeine and nicotine, the breakfast of chances. Absolutely. And raw, I'm a duck. Yeah. So you might need that medication. You might need that, that whatever the case may be. I know me, I do, but I'm feeling like 
the world is just kind of closing in on me. I hop on a, I hop on a bike and I go riding on a motorcycle. I go through the, I just go riding. I just hop on and go riding, you know? Um, okay. Uh, I go, I go riding and I'm telling you what, it gives me time to think. I have to pay attention to the road. I have to pay attention to everything going on, but it gives me such, it gives me a time to think and it helps you put things in perspective. So, you know, that's something that helps me. I go get in my car, I go get on a bike, I, you know, I draw. I, I find things that I can do that kind of help get my head into a position to where I can think about the stuff going on and then kind of categorize it and put it where it needs to be and, and move forward. You're welcome. Thank you so much. A lot of people don't know. Casey knows this, for example. Casey's in a room. Casey knows this. I went on the side of a mountain and didn't come down for two years. I went to a fishing camp in the middle of the woods and didn't come out for five years. Y'all think y'all got anxiety? My anxiety, look, my anxiety was so bad at one point in time that if I wanted to walk outside, I would be sitting at the window looking going, I need to cut the grass. I lived on 14 acres in the woods. In the, I had an eighth mile driveway. Nobody accidentally drove back to my house. I was back there by myself for five years. And I'd look at my grass and go, I need to cut my grass start heading to the doors and start puking. Like, I need to go outside and cut my grass. Walk to the door and start puking because my anxiety was so high about even walking out of the house that I couldn't do it. <clears throat> that was me three years ago. That was me, well, actually, I guess about four years ago now. That was me about four, four and a half years ago. It was bad. Anybody that knows me in real life knows that to get me to come off my property was it was a huge thing you know i've come a long way and the way i've done that is by by putting everything that i'm telling you guys into action in my life you know now i like sitting on the porch and drinking a cup of coffee in the morning i like driving downtown and going and getting stuff yeah shake puke get dizzy sick to your stomach like yeah yeah, Keegan does it now, but I'm telling you, I trust you, trust, you're going to get through it. It's it's bad. You're going to lash out. You're going to be mad. You're going to be angry. You're going to wonder, why is this happening to me? Yeah, until the bike came along. That's right, Crazy. Um, you, you, you're going to be, you're, you're going to be angry. You're going to be mad. You're going to be questioning yourself. You're going to be like, what the frick is wrong with me? Why am I like this? And, I mean, all of these things you're going to say to yourself. Why can't I be normal? God, just take me now because I'm done. You know, you're going to feel all of these things and they're going to, it's going to cross your brain. But I promise you that that is the, that is the depression, anxiety. That's, that's the chemicals in your brain that make you sad. That's them working. They're working. Okay. You're not a sociopath because they're, those are working. You're upset with yourself. You're mad. You're sad. You're, you're upset. Your anxiety, your depression, all of that is, is ruling your brain. So what you have to do is you have to start purposely looking and finding those things that make you smile, that make you happy. Find those things. Don't rely on another person. Don't rely on a plant or a pharmaceutical company or a beer company or a booze company. And I don't care if you do them. I don't care. But you need to find something in yourself that makes you smile. Something that makes you, your eyes crease up right here a little bit. And then start doing more of it. And more and more and more until the, the amount of chemicals, the happy chemicals that go into your brain outweigh the negative chemicals. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, now we get up. Yeah, now, that's exactly right, Joyster. I did this the other day. I wanted crystals. I wanted White Castle, Crystals Burgers. And I got my ass up and I drove the 15, 20 minutes down the damn road to go to the crystals to find out that they closed. I was like, What? That's, that is, and it was a brand new building. That's, that's how long it takes me to come out of my house sometimes. Yeah. All right. So Josette, the, 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 the thing there is conditioning. Okay. So your, your 19 year old son was homeschooled for six years because of crippling, crippling anxiety. I see that. Um, but did he have the anxiety worse or less when he was at home with you? It was probably less. And the reason it was less is because he was comfortable there he wasn't input into uh to high ang anxious places or situations so it's it's all about how you treat yourself and how you do your brain on where you're at 
And if a place makes you situ- you know, uh, anxious or a person makes you anxious, listen to that. Because if you hang around that place, if you stick around that place, if you could surround yourself by things that make you anxious, then you're going to be a nervous wreck. You have to change your situation sometimes in order to be the best person you can be. You're scared of thunderstorms? I get that. A um, lot of people who's dealt with storm damage from hurricanes or tornadoes or anything like that. There's a lot of people that have like seriously PTSD from storms and this thunderstorm rolls in and it, and it screws them up. I get that 100%. And when you have, an, have something like that, when you have a fear or an anxiety that comes from a traumatic event, then it's not as easy as, as everything else that we've been talking about. Now, everything else we're talking about is hard. You have to put in the work. You have to, there's no elevator. You have to get them stairs and you have to start working on them. But when you have a traumatic event happen to you, for example, what happened to me in my life causes me to have sleep issues. I'm okay when I'm awake, but while I'm sleeping, it takes me forever to fall asleep. And then when I, because of the insomnia, and then when I do fall asleep, I have night terrors. And I can't help that. I can't, that's not something I can really work on for the simple fact of when I'm asleep, I'm not in control of what my brain does. You know what I mean? I'm not in control of how I focus my energies uh, like I am when I'm awake. Um, so that is an issue and I get that. I get that 100%. So there are some things that you're just not going to fix by the way you look at the situations or the way you feel. Um, but you learn how to cope with them and how to deal with them. You know, my way of dealing with it and dealing with the, with the issues is that I've learned how to modify the way, where, when I sleep, uh, you know, I take naps now instead of trying, oh, well, I only got two hours of sleep now. I'm going to stay up for the rest of the 22 hours of the day. No, when I get tired again, I'll lay down and go back to sleep for a little bit. And then I, when I get tired again, I'll lay down and go back to sleep for a little bit. I take naps. So my body's found a way to, to, to circumvent that issue so I get enough sleep that I'm not insane. Coffee, caffeine bothers your anxiety, but you have to have it. Oh gosh, that is that is a conundrum because without coffee, I would probably, I'd probably lose it. <laughs> like for real. Um, I'm one of those people that you do not speak to me until I've had not, had my coffee in the morning because I will bite your head off. I will be nasty when I first wake up in the morning because of the lack of sleep, because of the night terrors. When I first wake up from a nap or in the morning. I am a nasty person. Do not speak to me until I've had a little coffee. I've had a little time to get control over my brain again. You know, I'm one of those people. They say, well, you're not a morning person. No, if I take a nap in the middle of the afternoon and I wake up, I'm probably not in a good mood. You're going to have to wait until I get a little coffee in me and I get control over myself again. Because I will tell you, I will will tell you the unadulterated truth when I first wake up and you may not like it. It could be bad. All right. So we've done our full positive morning. We've talked everything positive this morning. Let's go over some numbers real quick and then we'll get out of here. It's 1052. All right. So if you're not following me on monster underscore Abaddon, which is down there on the bottom on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, go do that. Um, we haven't really jumped up lately on TikTok like we did before, but we are over 4,000 followers now. We're at 4,301, so thank you for everyone that's followed. We're still... Well, there you go. That was loud. Uh, we're still moving up. We're still going. And we're learning transitions now, so hopefully the videos will start becoming a little bit better and a little more entertaining. And they've been good so far, but I think they're going to get even better as I learn more about doing these videos on TikTok. So if you haven't watched them, go check them out. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment, follow it, share it out. You can share it on there to Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And it, I always always get a kick out when I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see myself. I'm like, wow, that's cool. Someone someone liked me enough to share my stuff. So yeah, RIP, RIP, rip your face off. That's right. I like this song. Yeah, I like this song. Okay, so you did fix it, so you can do the. I can do the. T- okay, well, next time I put face on, I will do uh, the duets with you. If you get a TikTok and you would like me to do a duet with you, then message me. Not only you got to make sure that it's on set to do du- to do duets, but you uh, have to message me and let me know which one. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, Facebook official abaddon apollyon if you go up to the top of this screen above the chat box you'll see my name up there written in blue it's abaddon apollyon 
please share that out. Mass invite to your friends. Let's get some more people in here so we can have uh, more people in the morning feeds and have a little more fun, right? Hopefully reach out to a couple more people. If you know somebody in life that needs to hear these messages and needs to hear this stuff, then please share it out so they can get these messages as well. Uh, let's see. Mindy, good morning. Robin, good morning. Zoe, good morning. Take time to smell the dead flowers. They smell so wonderful. Sometimes dead flowers do smell morning. Yeah, all right. So I want to prove something on that. He says, smell the dead flowers. They smell so wonderful. People are like, oh my God, you said dead flowers. I mean, I don't know. What do you think potpourri is? Potpourri is nothing more than a bunch of dead flowers put together, dead plants put together, and it smells great. So absolutely take time to enjoy the smell of the dead flowers. Okay. Uh, okay. They have not. Okay, Cult of Fools has not given updates on the shirts you want. Okay. Thank you, Lola. I'll check into it today. And I'll get back with you in a little bit. Hopefully, we're going to have some information for people, the, the contest winners, and the giveaways pretty soon. Thank you so much for updating me. All right. So, I'm going to do some today. I'll tag you, y'all, for duets. Absolutely. Yeah, do some today and we'll tag me. I love all y'all too. I do. I love y'all. And yeah, you guys are amazing. You're the reason I do this. So the numbers are looking pretty good. Everything's going pretty strong. Thank you so much for the shares, the comments, the love and the views. And if you ever need me, just message. I was waiting for that song to go over and I'm going to pull it up here and we're out. We're out like the fat kid in dodgeball. Love you all. Much love, loyalty and respect. If you need me, message me, like I said, okay? I'm not like the fat kids in dodgeball. And what's the last one? What's the other thing? Oh, yeah, love, peace, and chicken grease. Bye. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow.